foreign vessels involved in illegal, unreported, and unregulated fishing, also known as IUU fishing, are generating public backlash across Somalia. They are accused of attacking Somali fishing boats, destroying gear, damaging habitat, and fishing without licenses. Starting in the early 1990s, frustration with IUU fishers became a justification for attacks on foreign vessels, setting the stage for piracy against the entire shipping industry in the Western Indian Ocean. Currently, unregulated foreign fishing poses the greatest threat to the long-term health of Somali fisheries. Foreign vessels are responsible for over 70% of the fish caught in Somali waters, and local fishers blame their declining catch and profit on widespread unregulated fishing by foreign fleets. This poses a serious threat to Somali fisheries and to the livelihoods of the coastal communities. <laughs> When boats that no one can control, like the one from Yemen, come into Somali water, you can sometimes lose up to 15,000. You cast your nets and hook into the sea, and then they come and take them. There is nothing that you can do except cut up a lot of money. Trawlers are especially concerning. Satellite data reveals bottom trawling has impacted 95% of the bottom habitat in shallow waters, and trawlers are active during nine months a year. Bottom trawling is illegal under Somalia's new fisheries law, but that law has yet to be enforced. If Somalis wish to sustainably develop their fisheries beyond current levels, foreign fishing, both legal and illegal, must be limited, licensed, recorded, and regulated as soon as possible. Careful licensing could result in millions of dollars in revenue each year that could be invested and distributed to benefit Somali people, especially fishers.